Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you a holiday classic which is a homemade eggnog recipe. It is so easy to make, so delicious and creamy, you're gonna love it. So what we have here is a mixture of some milk and half and half cream. You're going to need some sugar, vanilla extract, some heavy cream which is 35% fat or higher some egg yolks, no egg whites, just the yolks. Here we have some salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and a little bit of cornstarch. You are also going to need a uh, medium-sized saucepan so we can actually cook our eggnog. And that's about it, so let's move on to making our eggnog. Okay, so into our saucepan here, we are going to add in our milk and half and half cream. We will also add in our heavy cream and our spices and salt. And just give this a little whisk. Okay, so on medium heat, you want to make sure that you continuously um, Stir your mixture here, probably every 30, 40 seconds or so, just making sure that your milk isn't sticking to the bottom of your saucepan. So we're going to allow this to come up to a little gentle simmer, and then we will allow it to simmer on low heat for about five minutes. Okay, so my milk, as you can see, has come up to a gentle bubble here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my temperature to low and allow my milk mixture to simmer for five minutes. Now as your milk mixture is simmering, you want to make sure that you give it a little stir every once in a while, making sure that your milk doesn't scorch or stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so my milk has been simmering here on low heat for five minutes and now I have closed my stove top and I'm going to set it aside at room temperature and we're going to work on our egg yolk mixture. Okay, so into a nice clean bowl here, we are going to add in our egg yolks, okay, our sugar, and our cornstarch. and we're going to give this a good whisk. Our mixture looks perfect and now we can add in our vanilla extract and mix again. Okay, so now that we have our egg yolk mixture ready, we are going to take about a quarter of a cup of our um, simmered milk mixture here and we're going to add it into our egg yolks. Now this is um, the tempering process so that we don't cook our eggs. And you want to mix it right away. If throughout the process of adding in your warm milk to your egg yolks, you notice that you cooked a little bit of your eggs or anything like that, you can just run this mixture through a sieve, making sure you catch any little pieces and it'll be fine. But just, um, just try not to, of course. But uh, if you run into that problem, it is okay. Okay, so this is great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this into my warm milk mixture. Okay, so as you're adding in your egg yolk mixture into your warm milk mixture here, you want to make sure that you're stirring as soon as you start pouring it in. So you're doing both things at the same time. Thank you. 
And now we will bring our saucepan back onto our stove top on medium heat, stirring for about two to three minutes or when you start to notice it starts to lightly thicken. And then I'll let you know what it looks like when we get there. Okay, so once we bring our saucepan back to our stove top, you want to make sure that you are stirring continuously because at this point it can easily burn and stick to your pan. Okay, so after mixing for another three minutes, our mixture is creamy and it has thickened as you can see. So now I'm going to remove it from my stove and we are going to set it aside at room temperature. I'm going to leave my mixture here in the pan probably for about 15-20 minutes and then I'm going to place it in a heat proof jar or a jug I should say and um, we will allow it to sit for the hour, hour and a half and then we'll move on to the next step which is finishing and topping our eggnog. Okay, so my eggnog has been at room temperature for an hour and a half. As I previously mentioned, it was first in my saucepan probably for about half an hour, and then I placed it in my jug here, and I just left it there for another hour and a half. So it is most definitely at room temperature, and at this time, you would want to place your eggnog in the fridge and just give it a stir once in a while whenever you are ready to serve it. So now what I have here is some a freshly whipped cream with a little bit of icing sugar and I also have some cinnamon for dusting our whipped cream most definitely optional I usually have my eggnog just as it is so now it is most definitely time to try it I'm just going to give it another stir here as you can see it is thick and creamy it is just wonderful It is the greatest eggnog I have ever tried. It is creamy, thick, wonderful. It is, it, it's everything you would want in a glass of eggnog. Now, if you prefer your eggnog a little bit thinner, you can just um, add a little bit less of the cornstarch. But to me, eggnog is supposed to be thick and creamy, so that's how I like to make it. So you adjust it to your liking. And that's about it. So easy to make, and I really hope you guys give this one a try. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.